¿Qué pasó, Pack Nation? It is Pack here. We have had our first ever look into Next Generation. What is up, guys? I am so excited to talk about this new footage that was released by Unreal and they made the Unreal Engine 5. This is running on the PlayStation 5 and they're showing next generation graphics for the first time ever. I wanna talk about the five things I noticed about it and how it's going to affect 2K21 on the next generation for the PlayStation 5. Before this video starts, be an OG, join the Pack Nation and subscribe. So there is something that I have to clarify before we get into this video. Here's the problem. Unreal Engine is an engine that people use for make video games. A lot of companies use it. The problem is 2K doesn't use that engine, but just because they don't use this engine doesn't mean that similar things are going to be happening with 2K. At the end of the day, Next Generation is pretty similar all around. Engines aren't exactly the same, but pretty similar to one another. And this is what we should be expecting for NBA 2K21. NBA 2K uses their own engine, it's called Eco Motion, which is like one that they made themselves. And it's, it has the same properties as Unreal. It's close enough to where I think it's gonna have similarities and I'm excited to talk about it. So I'm gonna have two honorable mentions before we actually start this video. The first one is basically something that we've confirmed and I've said a lot of times, 4K and also technically 8K for the next generation on about 60 frames per second at least. So we already know this, it was gonna support 4K to 8K. The games are gonna look four times to even eight times sharper and clear than before. We're talking about ridiculous detail, not only with the players, but now the hair is gonna have their own polygons, the, the pores in their skin, the details on their fingertips, things like this. We're talking about like pixel perfect details. I don't think graphics, like, like I know we always say this every year, but this is the first time I think we can't really get better than this graphically. Like this is ridiculous level of graphics. But continuing on to that, it's also 60 frames, so it's gonna look clean. Now I'm having a lot of problems. This video right now, it's saying it's in 4K, but I was only able to download this video in 1080p. There's a lot of hurdles we're having to fall through right now. I can't even download 4K videos. I don't have a capture card that re records 4K. My monitors record 4K, but it's kind of iffy and they don't even come close to recording 8K. I mean, we're really looking at like, we're gonna have to upgrade our stuff a lot. And this is looking to be kind of expensive. So that's one thing I do want to notice is like, a lot of you that are gonna get this next generation, you're gonna have to find a 4K monitor or even an 8K monitor somewhere and they're not cheap. So that's kind of one problem I've been noticing, but I mean, it's gonna look so good. And then the other thing they mentioned is spatialized audio. I kind of talked about this. Basically the audio is a lot more detailed. They can go basically to like they explained in the video, they can go into a cave, record the audio of the cave and you can hear the rocks falling behind you in a specific direction while you can hear your echoes in front of you. Sound field rendering allows us to record and play back spatialized audio. And, and it's gonna be very dynamic audio. To be completely honest with you, I don't know if it's gonna change that much in the game. I mean, there's already, the audio's good enough in my opinion. Maybe a little more, maybe you hear birds chirping in the park, maybe even more detailed. You maybe hear everyone else's basketballs bouncing around you. You can hear the crowd maybe talking mad about you or maybe you can hear someone like telling you hey make the shot or uh, things like that like maybe maybe you can hear the coach telling you to do something like a lot more often but they already kind of do that anyways i guess just maybe more detailed but those are things that aren't really as important as everything else i'm going to cover in this video so so now the first thing is dynamic lighting this is one they really pushed in this video and i can see how it's gonna it's gonna kind of help with next generation 2k so different courts in the nba have different lighting Basically, some courts have brighter lights, some courts have different colored lights, and some courts have more lights and less lights. And every single court is different. Like literally the Lakers court and the Hornets court is very, very different. And you can just tell by pictures. So because of those things, I'm expecting them to upgrade that a lot more. Plus the lighting reflecting off of players' skin should look a lot more realistic. Not only that, the crowd is usually pretty darker compared to the court and the players themselves. That's usually how it is. And I think they're gonna focus a lot more on that in this next generation. And then not only that, but the neighborhood is going to matter a lot more too. Now that the sun is reflecting on you and there's going to be dynamic lighting, how is that going to affect the whole thing? Are players going to look too bright, too messed up? I mean, there's already shadows in this game and they can already be too obnoxious. How are they going to deal with that? What about nighttime? All these things are, are going to be really interesting to me. And it's gonna look even better, especially with ray tracing and stuff like that. At number two, it is the ridiculous amount of polygons. We're actually talking about billions and billions of polygons are going to be allowed to be used and it won't, like the, your PS5 won't even stutter. Apparently it can handle it. 
We're talking about ridiculous detail, by the way. I mean, everything you can imagine that you're like, well, is it gonna really fix? No, no, it's gonna enhance the detail of everything. You can see maybe the grip on the ball, the details in the fingers, the player's hair is going to be pixelized. Like instead of just being like a texture on the hair, it's gonna be each individual strand could have like polygons and it's gonna look insane. And then not only that, I think for the first time ever, they have no excuse when it comes to the crowd. The crowd in 2K is so bad. Like, it is so bad. They look like PS2 graphic players in the crowd. Now, no more excuses. These people should be, like, pixel perfect. They should be exactly the same. There's no more excuses about this. This should be able to be done. And not even, not even just people in the crowd. They should be able to have, like, drinks in their hands, food in their hands. Like, you, you can see perfect detail of everybody and the players themselves. Have you ever seen Michael Jordan's tongue in 2K? It looks terrible. No more excuses about that either. The pixels will be sharp and it's gonna look pixel perfect. No more excuses about details with these players. And number three is something called the Niagara Effects System, which means particles can now talk to each other. Now, this one's a little complicated. I don't know how much it's going to help 2K, but it's definitely interesting. So basically, Unreal said that the Niagara effect system is things can talk to each other. So for example, there's a part where bats are flying through and the bats are reacting to each other and flying together based off of what, what another bat is doing. I, I can see the same thing maybe they're going to do with players or with the crowd. If a crowd member starts chanting something, maybe people around them will start chanting together. Maybe you can have a, an intense situation so the court, everyone starts to stand up because it's getting pretty intense and a lot more realistic. There's times where I've hit like really important shots and the crowd doesn't even react. Now it shouldn't have that problem anymore. The environment should get rowdy and crazy when it's clutch time and then you can feel that environment change and you can see in the details of the players and the people reacting different ways. Not only that, you're going to have more realistic environments in the park and the neighborhood as well. So things like that are going to be detailed and added a lot more. It's even more realism that I'm a fan of and it's going to be really sick and I'm sure they can do a lot more with this if they get creative. At number four, it is a chaos physics system. This one I'm really excited about because this one, it, it, it comes to fast fabric and texture and the way things react to each other. So for example, in the in the video they showed in Unreal Engine, they had the cloth of the woman flapping around. The same thing they're gonna be doing with the jerseys and also the hair. It is going to look so sick. The way that it moves, it's not gonna be like freaky. Like if you play 2K, you know sometimes the shorts freak out and they go up and it looks like a mini skirt. Now it's not gonna be a problem anymore. It should just be very realistic. Like literally the fabrics on the jerseys shouldn't move janky anymore. It should be as realistic as it's ever been before and it's gonna look sick. I think with this, they just need to do options. They need to do an option where your jersey is super tucked in, barely tucked in, or like Kyrie tucked in where it's not even tucked in. They need to have those kind of options in this game. I feel like that'd be really, really sick. And something they can do now with this motion warping where it, instead of having like animations, it can do it by itself because it has the physics that it has. Same thing with how the ball bounces that way your hand reacts when it catches the ball, the way your hand reacts when you shoot it, things of that nature is now going to be a lot more detailed. And I'm excited about those things because I think they can do a lot of more photorealistic things with that. And finally at number five, it is motion warping and smart animation. This was the one that got me the most excited. So for example, in the video, they show the woman climbing up like a mountain, not a mountain, but like a cliffside. And they said, you know, sometimes in games, you can get a little weird. Like you try to climb, so you try to do something and your player acts odd because you're forced into an animation. Now the animation is AI. So yeah, it's forcing you to do an animation, but the AI is smart enough to react or change to make sure it looks more realistic. I have been asking this for so long and I am praying that 2K takes advantage of this if they can. How many times have you been stuck into an animation and your player didn't adjust when you feel like it should have because it was smart enough. Like let's say you're trying to do a Euro step and the player in front of you moves with you. The player should be able to adjust in that situation and he doesn't. Or how about when you're trying to play defense on an alley-oop and it acts like you're not even there and the player just goes through you. That shouldn't be happening anymore with this. No more excuses for 2K. This has the AI smart animation technology to make sure that doesn't happen anymore. You feel like you're running out of bounds for no reason. That shouldn't happen anymore because the player should be smart enough to try to get away from out of bounds. These are things that are going to really affect next generation. 2k and hopefully less 2k cheese that's what i'm really hoping for with this and i think it's totally going to happen what do you guys think about this news are you excited about it does this give you more hope or doesn't really make you feel anything for next generation leave it in the comments below and if you like this channel give it a sub and i'll see you guys next time